hey, howdy, y'all, everyone. Lost Dude here, back in action for more Tales of Asperia attraction. As we're going around, surfing about, and heading back to Titania. Whoop, whoop. And my, oh, my. I just, I really like this outfit for her, because, like, mm, I'm gay, but, you know, whatever. Let's talk to her all twink here and then travel to where we're supposed to be traveling to. Shantra? Look at this, like, go all the way. Devoured them again. No, don't. So, you said your little brother made this copy. He could read the ancient tongue. That's amazing. Oh, no. She is, she is getting a little bit. <laughs> Luffy was different from most other kids. He read books a lot because his body was so weak. He studied all the time so that he could be ready to travel the world one day. Which was kind of funny, considering he'd hide in my bed whenever he had a nightmare. Really? Oof. That line is getting blurred for her again. I don't care that he got scared. I just wanted him to live. That's why I had to. Velvet! I'll devour as much as it takes. I will have vengeance. Velvet! Oh, great. One of these. Like, I bestow upon you the power. You are all good. God. Can't wait till I get Georgie Boy and just fuck him up, and fuck him up again. Done. The art is attuned to you. Thank you. This time I'll make sure to finish what I set out to do. Mm-hmm. I've gotta say, I didn't think you had it in you, Oscar. What did Oscar do? I don't do? believe I asked for your opinion. Lord Artorius! Go back outside, Teresa. We'll see you when we're done. Are the rumors true? Are you using that experimental art on Oscar? It is true. I was under the impression it was still incomplete, sir. Yep. Still a potentially fatal weakness for its channeler. We've taken the theory as far as it will go. The next step is to learn its control and actual practice. Don't tell me you intend to test it against that Varian. Please, let me do it. I should be the one, not him. You are not strong enough. Then, at least let me back him up. So you can take the enemy out before Oscar uses the art? A noble plan. But I'm afraid it'd mess everything up. How so? It was my idea to volunteer, sister. I failed at Titania and allow the Therian to be stolen from Palamedes. I need to atone for my mistakes. Then let me come with you. I have different orders for you. Teresa Linares, you are hereby relieved of your duties as an exorcist and are to return your monarch. Relieved of duty? Why? For our plans to be realized, we require an especially strong monarch. We've analyzed your Moloch's dormant abilities, and he is of considerable power, on the same level as the young Moloch who betrayed us for the enemy. Simply put, you just don't got what it takes to handle him, sweetheart. Hmm. 
So they're just getting rid of anti-bad touch? What, what the hell? What are they doing? They're just getting rid of her, her Moloch? Some NTR business up in here. When this is all over, I'd love to have some of your homemade cooking again, sister. I could go for that quiche you used to make. Yeah, this is um. Yeah, this How this is. Right now? Lord Artorias. This is like Folgers coffee type of uh. Yes. Brother, when sister, love us say. Mission, I will make Teresa an exorcist again. Oscar, are you doing this for? Don't worry about me. I'd go to the ends of the earth and back for a plate of your delicious quiche. Now, which quiche are you talking about, my dude? Her personal quiche. So they already made this into a boys club, huh? That's that that's a suck. What should I do? If I don't do something, he'll Oh dear. Huh? Anubanot says What's you could do this? this. You could fight I'm her now. Receptive to that art. And to you. Oh dear, she is being used. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, where am I? Take it easy, Velvet. You've been out for three days. Oh god dang, Even why? Three days wasted. What's the situation? Well, let's see. For one thing, Grimoire's been deciphering that ancient book. She says that this new copy is complete. All the pages we were missing are there. As for the dogs, Kamuana's taking a real shine to them. Aww. All right, then. Now we just need to find that last Therian. Velvet, no! I said take it easy. Wait, the Seriously. last Therian? I thought we had, like, two more to go. Oh, hold on. Have you not had anything to eat? Um, well, I just thought... Since you hadn't either. Are you serious? Why would you do a full thing like that? You'll die if you don't eat. Actually, I... He won't die if he doesn't eat. Malachim don't actually depend on food for sustenance. If they do eat, it's only as a quirky hobby. <laughs> All right. If you're sure. If you feel like going hungry, it's your life. But there's no sense in doing it on my account. Huh. Good to see you're feeling better again. As you probably noticed, we made it back to Titania already. Sorry to keep you all waiting on me. Get everyone together. We meet now. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I just... wanted to better understand the hardships Velvet's suffering through. It seems unfair for her to bear all of it alone. Hmm. Well, she's... how can I put it? A very straightforward kind of person. But nothing gets under her skin like a clumsy display of sympathy. That is what very true. What should I do about her then? It's so true. For now, just get something in your tummy. Any good warrior knows you eat when you have the chance. Even Malakim have more strength on a full stomach than an empty one, don't they? Yeah, it's true. Food will fill an empty stomach. But what is there to fill an empty heart, I wonder? Damn, Mogulu, why gotta bring out these like wisdom philosophy type of like sadness? Like, legit. Time for some grub, Loppy Set. What are you hungry for? Hmm. I'll have some stuffed giant squid. Or prison crab dumplings. Or sea snake bowl. It's your first meal in three days, right? Better stick with something mild or you'll be sorry. <coughs> How about a risotto or a vegetable rice soup? That could be nice. I could go for some borscht or shark fin and egg soup. For dessert? I'll have a sweet bean and jelly fruit cup, a giant parfait, and a triple berry cake! 
Zip it, Mogilu. <laughs> well, I'm getting full just thinking about it. I think I'd like some rice porridge with a pickled plum and baby sardines on top. Ooh, an austere choice. And an apple. In that case, you should have some apple boo. Apple boo? What on earth is that? It's just grated apples. But when my brother wasn't feeling well, I often fed it to him. I think I'd like to try some. If you insist, I'll make some for you. At least it's something I can make without needing to taste it. Okay, I insist. Okay. If you're already making some, I'd like... Zip it, Mogulu! <laughs> Oh my god. Fantastic. There's no need to go overboard, Velvet. Take a breather, eh? Oh, yeah, I don't wanna... No, oh, dang it. What? Venwick, please, uh, please, let me hide, uh, in, in the ship. Steady, lass. What's the problem? Why is she trying to hide in the ship? You're just, just being there. Okay, then. So what's what's the problem? Did she do something wrong? Did the dogs get mad at her or something? I, I don't know. It seemed like a good. Let me guess. This is a support I haven't class. seen many Abbey patrol ships around here of late. I noticed that too. Do you think something happened? The Blood Wings said the Abbey's been quiet everywhere. Apparently, some bad demons and a cursed pirate crew have been giving them trouble, and they can't spare the men to patrol the outer sea. Cursed pirate That's crew. Breeds pirates for ya. Always gathering information and keeping on their guard. A cursed pirate crew? Isn't that us? If the info's sound, we've really made a name for ourselves. <laughs> Abby ships run and hide when they see us coming. Reason dictates that we avoid hopeless fights. Ooh, Shepard Artorius, you're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> if only our enemies were truly that dumb. Sadly, the world isn't that forgiving. We can't drop our guard. Aye. I've contacted some fishermen friends of mine. They'll let us know if they notice anything fishy. We've got the first mate's curse to deal with. We can never be too careful. Yeah, with that reaper's curse hanging over us, we don't have room to relax. <laughs> well, at least they're not too bothered by it. That's nice. Uh, I admire the actresses that actually fight demons. I wouldn't get in the way of a warrior of that caliber. Well... They're gonna have a problem with me if they try it, how to stop us from sailing it somewhere. That's a risk we'll uh, just have to take, even if the odds aren't in our favor. If that's what you say, if they truly are really not, I don't know why people are talking to me about things. I swear, it's like Discord don't work or nothing. Going like, hey, I'm streaming here. You just come over and bother me. That that would be good too. Whatever. Okay, Fee. I need you to find us our next Earth Pulse point. I found one, but it's really, really far, way up in the northeast. Hmm. If it's that far out, it has to be an Engand. Engand is a collection of small islands. There's a comparatively bigger one called Lionel Island, but that's the exception. Yeah, I think the Earth Pulse Point's probably out there. And Gand, huh? Those waters are haunted by ghost ships, you know. Ghost ships? <laughs> yep. Legend has it they snatch up wrongdoers who bear lingering regrets and whisk them away to that eternal voyage. That doesn't sound promising. Currents from all over the world converge in Engen's waters. So a lot of shipwrecks from distant seas end up there as their final resting place. Uh-huh. Ah. So that's where the stories of ghost ships come from. Boo. You guys have no imagination. I'd rather they stay imaginary myself. We should still be careful. We'll be fine. Ghost ship, exorcist, whatever comes along. We'll be the ones to administer their last rites. Just one Therian to go. When I escaped, Ceres told me that Artorius could still be killed. That means she must have known everything. That Enominot is incomplete. How Therians work. But why did she betray Artorius? Why did she give me her strength? I know that try as you might, some fires can never fully be extinguished. 
But what made you go so far as to feed yourself to me? Tell me, why did you do it, sis? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, what am I saying? Ceres was a Moloch. Just a Moloch. You know she Just wasn't. Just focus on what has to be done. You know she wasn't. Once the Therians are all together, I can end this. That's all that matters. That's all I need to think about. Oof. Poor Velvet, she's been through so, so much. So, so much. And she's just at the end of her journey. So, considering everything that we're, like, this close to, like, getting all the variants and whatnot, I imagine that Eleanor's gonna betray us sometime soon. That's usually how these things go. And I can't wait to see it, I'm gonna be honest. We're gonna, uh, round to Engen. Are naughty all right? It's a dreadful place to sail. Not the van at uh, Eltina. I uh, can't handle it, of course. Does that be so? What are y'all doing? Well, my belly is full. I'm ready to go any anytime. I ate enough. I see. That's all right then. Uh, you're looking pale, Velvet. Uh, take care of yourself, all right? <laughs> they say the Phantom Fleet carries guilty souls away. If we cross its path, I'll be lonely when you're all taken. Oh, is she just exempt from things? Is it time to depart already? Don't you think you should rest a little bit longer? See, look at that. Just the way that she talks to, like, Velvet in this sort of, like, soft tone. Like, can we, like, not, like, go against everything and all that such? Just makes me ship them so much. It really, 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 really does. And I don't know how else to explain it. It just worked. It just worked. What are y'all doing? That prince you brought back is one interesting guy. He's happy playing with the dogs, right? And that's perfectly normal. I swear, he even naps with them. And that hawk, with a big smile on his face? And when Dial or Kamawana ask him to put in some work, he doesn't make a face or nothing. He just gets right to it. Wait, they're asking the prince to do chores for them? Isn't that a little much? Yeah, honestly, I was worried about it too. But when I asked him about it, he said not to worry. And get this, the guy says when he lived in the palace, he couldn't even yawn without getting permission. He couldn't even play with his dogs, let alone help other people with their tasks. Everything was the job of his servants. So anything we tell him to do, no matter how trivial, the guy happily does it. Says he really feels like he's alive. Oh. Wow. Feels like he's too good a guy to be a prince. You got it backwards. I'd love to see what a nice guy who gets the common folk does once he starts calling the shots. But if he were to rejoin the royal family, he'd be our enemy, wouldn't he? At the very least, he wouldn't try to control how we think, like the Abbey's doing now. Either way, you're pirates. You plunder other people's ships. I think you'd be the enemy of any state. <laughs> True that. A prince has his own problems, and the same goes for a pirate. Life's actually pretty fair, when you look at it that way. On an unrelated note, what sort of ransom do you think uh, you could demand for a prince? <laughs> I get it, fam. Rich people have harsh problems, too. I don't agree with that whatsoever. I do, however, agree with the royalty situation. Uh, when, when it comes to the whole entire uh, bit, we're like, hey, you can't do everything that you want and everything. And, like, like I get that. I get that, like, true royalty wouldn't be corrupt and they would have to, like, serve the people. And I've always particularly liked that trope where, like, I was not able to, like, be my own self at, at this place because of, uh, like, hardships and whatnot that I had to go through. I think that's pretty cool, honestly, in terms of, like, character development and whatnot when it comes to those things. God dang, I honestly have no idea where I'm going. It's It's been, like, five streams, and I still don't know. I still don't get the vast majority of this stuff. Of, like, where we're at and everything. Just, like, little banners and such would have helped a whole lot, but nope. Eh, whatever. 
Still though, like, I'm not like too big on it to the point of just like, yeah, <laughs> royal people have, have the same problems as, as us poor people do. So therefore it's okay, cause like, no, it's not. It's really, really not. <sighs> just one of them things. Just cause I lack a trope doesn't mean I won't see the flaws in it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, grab that too. I wonder if this dude's gonna talk about a class four island or something. Like, why are you all the way over here just saying things? Hey, eyes, a great timing. I've got a question. What would you say the four great wonders of the ocean are? Far as I know, it's the Phantom Fleet, Dragon Island, the Big Headian Tribe, and the Kraken Queen. Oh wow! Ah, see, I'm right. But this scoundrel insists he knows better than me. What else could the fourth be but the Kraken Queen? <laughs> the colossal upright eel. Besides, the Kraken Queen is just a fantasy cooked up by girl-starved sailors. What's the Kraken Queen? What do you mean, fantasy? It's not just a fantasy, boy. The Kraken Queen is a slippery black squid, the size and shape of a lusciously proportioned woman. When oh, she encounters a human, my queen. it goes into a frenzy, attacking with its long whip-like arms. That sounds painful. Attack me, my Real Kraken painful. Queen. Mind numbingly painful, even. But here's the thing at some point, the pain turns into pleasure. You mean it feels good to get whipped? You see, boy, that's why we call her the misery. Hey, bad pirate, stop crying about you. <laughs> Corrupting, boy, there's no bad need pirate. to contain your curiosity. When pain turns to pleasure, you've truly become a man. Laffy said, don't listen to them. This is something you should hear. Aren't you curious why the Kraken Queen is a wonder of the sea? Want to find out? Yes, tell me. Why? Oh, no. Normally, it hurts to be whipped. Nothing pleasurable about that. You don't like getting hurt, right? No. It hurt when Teresa hit me. Mm. I didn't like it at all. Mm. And yet the Kraken Queen grants pleasure through pain. The Kraken Queen's tentacles secrete some sort of unknown pleasure-inducing substance. When they touch you, the pleasure is beyond. All right, we're done here. The Dragon <laughs> Queen is no longer allowed to be the fourth wonder. It's now the Colossal Upright Eel. Argument over. <laughs> Tell what he said about this eel and keep it wholesome. Um, sure. <laughs> the Colossal Upright Eel is as big as a whale and long and straight like a marlin's bill. Cut it open, steam it, then baste it with a special sweet and sour sauce and grill it twice over charcoal and it's heavenly. Or so I hear. Mmm, that does sound really good. I know, right? The problem is, its name is an apt one. Colossal. It's too big to catch? No, the upright part. When people try to catch it, it stands up on its two legs and zoom! Off it goes, running on top of the water. It's a fish? With legs? Now that's a wonder, right, kid? Well, at least it's a wholesome one. <laughs> Eleanor legitimately just said it's a Christian stream. <laughs> Please tone it down. <laughs> I'd like to have a nice boy of a colossal upright eel one day with soup made from its liver on the side. I mean, I hear you. Sounds crispy and tasty. Truth is, I became a pirate because I want to be spanked by the Kraken Queen one day. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> I feel you, buddy. I feel you. <laughs> I relate to that pirate too much on a level. It ain't that bad. If only to be spanked by the one you love, or by the one you'll find fancied. Ooh. My goodness gracious, that's all I'm saying. Bell could be my cracking queen. That's this, this pretty much it. This is no. Just, just, just whoa. This is a little too horny on main today. It might be a little too horny on main today. I, I don't know what to tell you. But we still looking. There should be something else here. At least like a prince or like... Or like the mother talking. Yeah, look at that. They still doing things. I don't like them. They're good, stout, manly dogs you can rely on. Oh, not dogs. There he is, right? Ah, same difference. So are they both like two different Darians? Or are they just one? Because I would have considered them one. 
but I guess they can be two. I mean, one, two, three, and then we have uh, uh, Momone, the mother, so that's five, and the hawk, that's six, and then the buck, that's seven. So there is one more. That's it. If you include the dogs uh, along with it, then yeah. Wowzers, palaces, we really are at the last one. Huh. I totally forgot about the bug, too. Like, I'll be honest, like, as soon as I was counting, I'm like, wait a minute, Lafayette has a bug, right? And it's a buggy bug. Bug, bug, bug. What are you doing? So that's nothing, eh? It's over here. Still nothing? Where, where's, where's the mom? You would think you would find the mom somewhere. Because the mom ain't here. And I don't see the prince anywhere. And those two, like, I would imagine we'd be able to talk to them to some degree. Some way, mon cherry. By the way, I really, really like this outfit for, for Velvet. I know I said it before, but I'll say it again. Just like, girl with a top hat with a suit like that. Just, just oh my. Oh, dear. Like, I just, oh. I like it too much. I could be wooed so easily by a number of things that girls just wear. Girl, talk to me. I'm wooed. Just instantaneously. Like, yes, please, take me. <sighs> I'm hopeless, aren't I, when it comes to these things? My goodness gracious. I shouldn't be. I, I, should, I should act not so desperate. Maybe that's my problem. If I wasn't acting this desperate, I could do something. Oh, have we still not gotten that chest over here? What that chest out? Ugh. We still don't have enough. Are you for real? Oh my goodness gracious. I forgot that I, like, I used up a lot of my... Um, how to say... A lot of my... Souls that I got previously, so now they're all gone. And at them all the way over. Are they over here or are they like at a watchtower or what? Cause I'm sure that we don't always get the little little kitty cat um lady, but like everybody else, yeah. Like you're usually able to see the prince. Maybe he's outside. Nope, not here. Nice. Got it through the bars. So I guess we'll just check, um, like, upward or something like that. See how that goes. It honestly still feels like we're, like, halfway through the game. Like, I know we're not. I know absolutely, like, we're, like, 70% way through and all that such. And, like, honestly, I'm just doing the stream more as precaution because we only have, like, one more week to, like, really get this done. Um, in terms of, like, me wanting to get it done in the month. I'm not sure. I, I like, we're, I think we're part way, we're almost to like part five or something like that to like actually get the rest of this. I have to like double check a walkthrough or something like that because I use it as like a sort of table of contents to where I'm just like, okay, something's happening here. And that's how I try to like name my things and everything too. It's nothing too big to the point where like I would factually know any spoilers because I really, really do not. Because the majority of, of the thing is just like, name a place. And I'm like, okay, I have no idea what this means. <laughs> so, like, it, it's just like that far. But it's still to the point of just like, huh. Like, it, it don't feel like, like we're that close to the end. It doesn't feel like we're any closer to like actually taking him, taking him down, you know? Good old douchebag McGee. Ugh. Go up here. Go over here. I wonder if she's over here, because, like, last time that's where we found her. Yeah, see, look at that. The book you found in Abel seems to be a complete volume. And noted as well, which is fortunate for us. I should be able to decipher it on my own, but it won't take a bit more time. I see. I've been bent over this book so long I've gotten a cramp. Be in dear rub my shoulders, Velvet. I don't mind helping you out, but 
Where are your soldiers exactly? <laughs> oh my god, the fact that Velvet just complies is just kind of great. We're almost complete to that. That's good. But where the hell was my other one? Like, I know there's another little, little spot around here somewhere. But I don't know where it is. It's very hard to figure out. <sighs> it's just the way this is. Like, it's it's put together that makes me so confused. Because I think this is the way you go, question mark? No. Okay. So we go up here, and that little green to red spot right there... That's where we want to go. And I think we want to go to red spot. So over here, over here. It's so weird, right? I can like go this way and that way. That way and this way. All around the corner and through the bin. Yeah, should be right here. Yeah, there it is. I found it, everybody. This is the other little spot. I don't think any of the other variant will be here. I don't think the mom will be here. I'm pretty sure it'll be empty or something. Oh yeah, this is nothing. This is a good spot to get more cats, though. It definitely is. So notable for that part. Boop, boop. Still. So I'm guessing that she might be outside then, because like if I can't find her here, I can't find the prince anywhere. I'm guessing that's where they are. Which is fine. I think they can also be at the inn area. Which I just do not want to go because there's no reason for us to go. Ain't no reason. What about here? This is a possibility. Okay. We gotta check everything, right? We, we, we gots to. Let's leave this off too. Okay. It's over here. Oh, look at that! There is somebody over here. Wowser's Palace. This is our prince area. Okay. He likes this spot. Interesting. Hello, Princey Poo. How are you? These pirates are a good-natured bunch, if a little crude. Pomona, Dial, and myself share their spirit. To think that I knew nothing of the world, I was destined to rule over. Hmm. He's really having a hard time. Like, I really like the fact that they actually introduce the Varian, uh, like, beforehand, uh, when you're going to kill the priest, and then, like, it later on joins you because the prince betrayed everybody. I think that's honestly some of the coolest, uh, bit of writing in this entire game, because it's like, yeah, you did go through it to get the Varian, but you didn't do the same thing where, you, like, you took off the barrier and whatnot. It was the prince that did it. And the reason why the prince did it is because that's his only friend, which is just, like, really heartwarming. I love that. Oh, what are y'all doing? Aw, come on! It's fine! No, it's not. You have to do it right. You're so mean, Medissa. If you keep telling me what to do, I'll hate you. <laughs> fine. Hate me then. So long as you do what I say. Oh. Fine! Uh, I love you, Medissa, and you don't even care. Uh... What's going on here? Eleanor, Medusa's being mean. She keeps <laughs> telling me to dry my hair after my bath, but I don't wanna. <laughs> what? Is that all you're arguing about? <laughs> this is important. Just because she's a Therian doesn't mean she can't catch a cold. But I won't. I won't catch a cold. I swear. I don't want to take Mom's yucky, awful medicine, so I'm not gonna get sick. If you insist on being so stubborn, we can do this the hard way. <laughs> There's no need for everyone to get so worked up. Her hair's pretty much dry already, right? Yeah, what she said. <laughs> uh oh. That mama don't like that. I'm spoiling her, aren't I? Seriously. <laughs> Look, we don't even know what would happen if Etherian catches a cold, let alone how to treat it. That's true. But look, I get it. I know you feel responsible for her. You mean, what happened to her mother? Yeah. Luffy said told me about it. My, my. Look who's a little tattletale. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I thought Medissa should know. Just in case. It's fine, I suppose. 
I should have told her myself. Well, at least I understand everything now. It's all too tragic for words. Yes. And the knowledge would not be something that a young child could possibly bear. I'm not planning on telling her. That's probably your only option. But do you really think you can keep lying to her forever? Oof. I have to. For her own sake. For her, huh? All right. I'll go with you on this. You two are going through an awful lot of trouble for a selfish kid. Damn. All kids are selfish. They're selfish. But that's what their families and their mothers should be there for. Oh. Don't you have any memories like that yourself? Sorry, but I'd rather just keep them to myself. Pish and Piffle, everybody in their issues, am I right? <laughs> Freaking Mogulus just like, I ain't having the issues here. This is not my deal. And Velvet's just like, mm, I don't think so, lady. I know what you're trying to prove. Just one Darien left. Stay on your toes. The Abbey will be desperate at this point. That's true. They definitely will. I really like her though. I absolutely positively love her as the addition. It makes so much freaking sense. It really does. Oh wow, we're going all the way over here. I like how we still haven't been able to go over here yet. Like why is that? Because clearly there's, there's things that we should be able to get and whatnot and I don't recall this game being to a point where we can't get nothing but still. Like, I'm just like trying to check here see what places we have not visited yet yet and it looks like for the most part there's like little islands that are probably just gonna end up being class fours and whatnot one two three four there's five of them right here fair enough all right let's go <laughs> All the way around the world. We're coming up on Lionel Island. So much for the ghost ships. Should we expect another welcome party waiting for us again? No. I had the Blood Wings spread a rumor that we were raiding an Abbey compound far, far from here. As far as plans go, that's better than nothing. <laughs> All this cloak and dagger. Give me a good old frontal assault any day. First mate, sir. There's a ship drifting ahead of us. A ghost ship? It's an Abbey ship. Their flag. It's a distress signal. Understood. Commence approach. Are you actually going to help an enemy ship? A ship signaling distress has neither allies nor enemies. That's a code all seafarers abide by. Oh, wow. It's an obvious trap. Not even pirates would use a distress signal for a surprise attack. Of course, after we rescue a ship, we still strip them of everything they've got. Anyway, if it's a trap, we'll kill everyone on board. Simple. <sighs> a waste of time if you ask me. Dang, that's pretty cool though that that's like for everybody. Oh dear. Why is everyone just kind of lump on the floor? Is this... The Corsair Scourge! Benwick, do we still have any Salatoma left? Yes, sir. If this is their full crew, we should have enough on board to treat them. Now that you mention it, don't Abbey ships usually have a bigger crew? These were all who were aboard when I hijacked the ship and oh. made them set sail. Teresa! I knew I was being reckless, but I never expected we'd run afoul of the Corsair Scourge. Oh dear. But you know, I'm glad we did, since it brought me to you. You seriously plan to fight in that condition? No, no. I know you've won this one. Use me as you will. What? Use you? Don't bother asking. It's a trap. Lionel Island is where you'll find Dees. Hefarian. My brother Oscar is guarding over it. We can handle him just fine. You should know that Oscar's acquired a powerful new art. Its formula developed by Lord Melchior. 
The art heightens a Moloch's power far beyond its normal limits. The effect is incredible. Normal arts don't even compare. Even were you to win, you wouldn't come away unscathed. Why are you telling us this? The art is still untested and imperfect. There's no guarantee its caster will survive the effects. I don't want anything to happen to Oscar. If I'm your hostage, Oscar won't move against you. This will afford you a window to snatch the Therian and make your escape. You're willing to betray the Abbey? There's nothing in this world that could ever replace Oscar. <sighs> oh, parallels. I know you can't trust me. So don't give me your medicine. I'll place my life in your hands. So she came out of desperation Just right there. Save Oscar. I did not expect this from her. Lady I generally thought she was going to go der deranged. Like, legitimately. This information will be of use to us. For now, let's bring her aboard and give her the medicine. I did not expect this. I really, really did not. There was no reason for the game to do it to us like this yet? <laughs> 